Genesis 37, verse 12. Joseph sold by his brothers. Then the brothers of Joseph went to feed their father's flock in Shechem. And Jacob Israel said to Joseph, Are not your brothers feeding the flock in Shechem? Come, I will send you to them. So Joseph said to Jacob Israel, his father, Here I am. Then Jacob Israel said to Joseph, Please go and see if it is well with your brother, and well with the flocks, and bring back word to me. So Jacob Israel sent Joseph out of the valley of Hebron, and Joseph went to Shechem. Now a certain man found Joseph, and there he was, wandering in the field. And the man asked Joseph, saying, What are you seeking? So Joseph said, I am seeking my brothers. Please tell me where they are feeding their flocks. And the man said, They have departed from here, for I heard them say, Let us go to Dothan. So Joseph went after his brothers and found them in Dothan. Now when the brothers saw Joseph from afar, even before he came near them, they conspired against Joseph to kill him. They said to one another, Look, this dreamer, our brother Joseph, is coming. Come, therefore, let us now kill Joseph and cast him into some pit. And we shall say, Some wild wild beast has devoured Joseph. We shall see what will become of his dreams. But Reuben heard this, and he delivered Joseph out of their hands and said, Let us not kill Joseph. And Reuben said to them, Shed no blood, but cast him into this pit, which is in the wilderness, and do not lay a hand on him, that he might deliver him out of their hands, and bring Joseph back to his father, Jacob Israel. So it came to pass, Joseph had come to his brothers, that they stripped Joseph of his tunic, the tunic of many colors that was on him. Then the brothers took Joseph and cast him into a pit, and the pit was empty, there was no water in it. And the brothers sat down to eat a meal. And then they lifted their eyes and looked, and there was a company of Ishmaelites coming from Gilgad with their camels, bearing spices, balm, and myrrh, on their way to carry them down to Egypt. So Judah said to his brothers, What profit is there if we kill our brother and conceal his blood? Come and let us sell him to the Ishmaelites, and let not our hand be upon Joseph, for he is our brother and our flesh. And his brothers listened. Then many Midianite traders passed by, so the brothers pulled Joseph up and lifted him out of the pit, and sold Joseph to the Ishmaelites for twenty shekels of silver. And they took Joseph to Egypt. Then Reuben returned to the pit, and indeed Joseph was not in the pit, and he tore his clothes. And Reuben returned to his brothers and said, The lad is no more, and I, where shall I go? So they took Joseph's tunic, killed a kid of the goats, and dipped the tunic in the blood. Then the brothers sent the tunic of many colors, and they brought it to their father and said, We have found this. Do you know whether it is your son's tunic or not? And the father, Jacob Israel, recognized it and said, It is my son's tunic. A wild beast has devoured him. Without doubt, Joseph has been torn to pieces. Then Jacob tore his clothes, put sackcloth on his waist, and mourned for his son many days. And all of the sons of Jacob Israel and all his daughters arose to comfort him. But he refused to be comfort, comforted, and he said, I shall go down into the grave to my son in mourning. Thus his father, Jacob Israel, wept for Joseph. Now the Midianites had sold Joseph in Egypt to Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh and captain of the guard.